What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at the latest addition to the Porsche Taycan lineup. This is the Taycan GTS Sport Turismo. So with the introduction of this car, two new things were introduced, both the GTS and the Sport Turismo, which is basically the Cross Turismo uh, with a little bit less plastic off-road stuff and you can't raise the air suspension as high as with the Cross Turismo. Other than that, it's basically the same thing. It's a bit more sporty and it's, of course, the sort of estate car version station wagon. I absolutely adore this car. I have told you guys in the past that I love this car and it's no different with this GTS. Now today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to take a look at the spec. We're going to take a look at what the GTS gets as standard and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn Blast. Now the spec on this car is very very cool. We've got this red car with all the black accents you get on the GTS and I have to say I've been driving around four days now I think and the reactions of people are well they say everything it's people are watching people are turning around uh, on their bicycles even like really stretching their necks to take a good look at this car and I think that's mainly down to this red and the contrast with all that black it looks super super cool it's a very wide car as well, of course, and I think that is also part of why people seem to struggle to place it. They, they seem to think like, what the hell is that? Which I really like. So the GTS, when it was introduced, had the biggest range of all cars, but that was down to some new software thing that Porsche applied to the GTS first, but all the other cars got that later on as well. So maximum range is like 491 kilometers WLTP uh, combined range. And that is basically the same as all the Taycans. Uh, I think the rear wheel drive version with the Performance Battery Plus has the best range. But it sits right in between the 4S and the Turbo, this car. Now, of course, the GTS also gets some nice goodies because it has to be the best handling version of the lineup. So we have these new wheels for the GTS. They are gorgeous, if you ask me, 21 inch. And they save around five kilos on the weight, not around, they save five kilos on the weight compared to a regular set of wheels, uh, the 21 inch Mission E wheels. And if you select these wheels, you also get some nice performance rubber. So these are Goodyear Eagle F1 tires. And this is like a more sporty tire. If you go for the regular wheel, all tires are more range oriented. Uh, and this is more sporty driving oriented, which is nice. Brakes, quite good, I would say. Of course, this is a very, very heavy car, 2300 kilos. And that, that is the moment you feel that weight, when you hit the brakes. The brake pedal is quite firm, so you have to really press it quite hard. And when you do, it does slow down pretty well. So that is the moment you feel that. Of course, we've got the charge ports with the swipe unlock. Yeah, there we go. Very nice, fast charging also available. I actually just did that. So. This is still an issue uh, for us sometimes. We have to charge and then you end up at a charge point that doesn't work. And this happens way too many times. I don't understand how people do that. We've had two charge points today that didn't work. One in Germany where you had to enter like your credit card details didn't work. One at a McDonald's somewhere in the Netherlands and uh, we plugged it in, didn't work. And then we went to another one, a fast charger. And that did work. So that was like a high performance charger or whatever they called. And I charged it up in no time. You can go from 5% to 80% in 22 and a half minutes, which is very impressive. That is what I like about this car. It works. And when you charge it, it, it charges up fast. It's 800 volt architecture. So it doesn't overheat as quickly. You can extract performance from it and it charges up really quickly. Now, Another thing you get on the GTS, uh, this car 
as standard has air suspension it's basically the system from the panamera but it is magic on this car we've talked about this before the gts gets a higher spring rate and the air suspension has been tweaked as well so it has three chamber air suspension now if you ride in normal mode it uses all three chambers when you go to sport or sport plus it only uses one chamber and that is different in the 4s i think if you go to sport plus it's one sport is two normal is three chambers so it is a bit more stiff it's you know it's a bit more aimed at sporty driving it also has the electric motors from a turbo and the electric motor at the rear is more powerful than the one at the front and that means that you have a more of a rear wheel drive biased as well so that is also for the gts which is pretty cool there are quite a few features you get on the gts which i think you know that's really nice also because the price difference between a take and 4s and this is quite large i think a 4s sport turismo is 112 here in the netherlands and the gts is 138 starts at 138 so that is quite a big difference now this of course is the sport turismo part it adds 25 kilos to the weight of the car but you know at a 2300 kilo weight that doesn't really do anything and i really really like it i think this is prettier than the regular taycan they can whatever i really like the rear of this car when you drive behind it you have it is so wide i think it's like almost as wide or as wide as a tesla model x which is quite insane i really like the rear of this car boot space of course you have a nice station wagon so that is decent i would say it's not groundbreaking and then at the front we've got a frunk I'll show you guys that one as well so this is a little extra space for your cable and stuff like that but it is not bad storage wise and then on the interior you also get some nice GTS stuff so you get a lot of this stuff which is race tags basically Alcantara and uh, you get a lot of it i mean this entire center console is covered in it uh, this armrest completely alcantara the seats the door panels here the roof the dash down low as well i mean it is everywhere you can even cover the mirror in race tax and that is a 364 euro option don't do that please don't throw away your money like that but uh, you can also choose to have it removed as an option which i think i would do i really like the steering wheel in race tax alcantara because you know it's a gts so you have the sporty steering wheel but this stuff i mean that is just going to get gross and uh i i, I would prefer to have like leather or whatever uh vegan leather probably but uh yeah i would i would probably opt out of all this alcantara but hey it's a gts so you get it anyway gts down low here as well on the door sill and on the seats these seats are very nice super comfy supportive you have that headrest that extends as you can see quite far and interior wise I'll cover that quickly you have two screens talked about this before this is beautiful that is two this is a bit less beautiful doesn't really feel as luxurious as it should feels a bit outdated to be honest uh, all the it, it works fine i mean uh, the touchscreen and stuff it all works perfectly but i don't know i don't really like the look of it I don't, it, it feels like 2015 renault a little bit porsche lovers are now screaming at me behind their phone or computer or whatever uh, but that is just the way i feel i really love this display here this is super super sharp quick to respond and that one is beautiful as well we've got a little bit of carbon fiber on the steering wheel as well and that is basically it for the interior i've covered this car a lot in the past uh, for the gts they also introduced a new option for the roof i think you can have i don't think we've got it but uh, you can make it like opaque so that you don't have that sun hitting your face but i don't think we've got that because i would think it would be in here and it's not. 
Now, performance-wise and power-wise, we've got a 93.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, and uh, that is basically the same across the range. With 598 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque in overboost, so that is when you use launch control, only then you get the maximum amount of power, which is not that much compared to a 4S with the Performance Battery Plus, which has like 571 horsepower in overboost. Now, range-wise, it's basically the same as well. And compared to a turbo, that has 680 horsepower. So the GTS, it's right in the middle there. Now, of course, I am using the 4S base price. If you go and spec that Performance Battery Plus, of course, they will be closer together. But anyway, I seem to care more about range than about power with these electric cars, at least with the Taycan. Because it, it, it's such a nice car, but it, it's sometimes let down by the range when you start driving it, you know, harder. Obviously, like all electric cars are. Okay, so let's take it for a drive. Which is amazing. I absolutely love driving a Taycan because it is so comfy. The air suspension on this car is absolute magic. It just, it just is. As I said, it's basically the same system you get on a Porsche Panamera, but something about this car feels much much better i don't know what it is it might be the fact that you're so low down or the the center of gravity is so low or or that it's so wide i don't know it is so comfortable and at the same time with this gts even more than with the other take hands the turn in and the steering feel and the directness is so amazing okay so let's go for sport plus launch control Foot on the brake, full throttle. have a shift there just before 100 kilometers an hour and uh, that is 3.6 seconds from 0 to 100 we've been able to do Porsche says it will do 3.7 but it's a little bit quicker and that is also a bit quicker than the 4s which does four seconds so handling wise you can definitely feel that the GTS <laughs> they have taken a look at this car and said okay we need it to be a little bit more direct still a little bit more feedback and they've done an exceptional job exceptional i should say sound they actually made the sound louder as well for the gts to give you a little bit more of a you know a driving experience but it is not close to the explosive power delivery that you get in uh, a Turbo S. And that shift still gets me every time. That is really cool. But that explosiveness of the Turbo S is, is just reserved for that car. And I mean, with 760 horsepower, of course, it's going to be more explosive than this. This is actually the best selling Porsche in the Netherlands. Surprise, surprise. All right, full throttle. There we go. And the thing with this car is when you drive on a B road, it really invites you to have some fun and to extract the power from it, you know, explore the limits of grip. But once you get on the highways or the autobahn, it sort of ceases to do that. You just enjoy the comfort of the car and 
you just entertain other people sometimes when when they look at you and you just floor it and they're like oh that's cool but the explosiveness is pretty much gone at these speeds anyway so of course we also measured the 100 to 200 km an hour performance now the fastest way to do that is using launch control of course because that is the only way you have that full 598 horsepower the full power is only available with launch control that overboost and i just did a 8.07 100 to 200 which is fairly quick uh, porsche says it will do 8.3 so that is super impressive This is the top speed, 258 on the speedo. Let me check if I go to normal mode, how that affects the power delivery. So in Sport Plus, it's definitely more aggressive. Oh yeah, that is a big difference. And now the suspension is <laughs> amazing. It's like a magic carpet. It is so, so soft, so floaty. It filters out everything. And then when you put it in Sport Plus and you turn it into a corner, you're like, I'm in a GT3. It's amazing, truly amazing. But again, is that enough to lure people away from the 4S and get them to spend that much more money on a GTS? You definitely feel that this car has a bit more of an edge. The, the suspension, the damping, the, the springs, it's a bit more firm, which is great, you know, if you are attacking a B road or a mountain pass or whatever, you're doing like a, you're an off ramp. The cornering speeds are insane. Oh, you can really hustle this car down the road i mean it is truly amazing it is man it has to be a sight to behold to see this car doing like a hill climb or something like that getting out of shape a little bit amazing this is an amazing car if i had to buy an electric car it would be this probably but i mean that eqs has a big range as well so that is also pretty impressive but i just love the way this car drives Oh. So the GTS, it definitely offers some value over the 4S being the most sporty one. Uh, it looks very, very cool as well. And it sounds a little bit better even. I, I can really hear that. So that's it for this review. I'm going to end it here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.